What's up everyone, back for another beer mail, and today I'll be unboxing a beer mail courtesy of a viewer of the channel, Cameron, so huge thanks to him for this box of goodies. Cameron has fired off some beer mails to a very good beer tubing friend of mine, uh, Matt, over at Massive Beer Reviews over the past, uh, I wanna say it's been a year or two. Uh, he sent him some you know, mystery beers and some other beers and whatnot, and uh, Cameron watches my channel, and he wanted to fire off a box of goodies my way, and here we are. Now, I know that uh, Cameron resides in Wisconsin, but I have no idea what's in this box. Now, a couple things. Number one, Cameron said, be prepared uh, for the fight of your life when opening beer in his boxes of beer because uh, he packs them extremely well. And then on top of that, um, he also said he included a note in here because he usually puts like notes on each uh, bottle or can and he didn't do that. So he just did like a note to let me know, uh, you know, information about everything that I hopefully will remember to read. Um, hopefully it's on top so I can just like put it right here so I don't forget it. But anyway, yeah, let's get it. <clears throat> let's get it open. Throw it over here. Now, I didn't look inside. Uh, I came earlier today, so I did not look inside. Um, but it seemed like everything was okay. Got some styrofoam that I'm sure is going to get everywhere, so I'll throw it over here to the side. And then, uh, yeah, there is a note. It says, hey, this is Joe. That's me. That's me. All right, so what the hell is it? Yeah, no, he, he packed these. He packed these for war. Yeah, he did. Seems like two cans in there. Jesus. Yeah, no, he... Uh, it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long unboxing, I can already tell. Uh, two more, so it looks like four. Looks like two more, looks like six. This guy can count. Two more, looks like eight. And then there's, all right, so I think there's like eight cans and one bottle. So we'll leave the bottle of the last because it's a big bomber. Maybe that's like a special beer or something. You know what? I'm just going to... All right. Put these to the side. Start getting into them. All right. So what I'm going to try to do is get out this cheap-ass box cutter, cut away from me, and not cut myself. Who knows if I'll be able to do that. All right. So step one. Can I peel this... He did say something about like if you cut during the around the seams or whatever, you should be able to get into them. Um, just taped at the top here. The struggle is real. Can I just like rip these open? Correct. Can or maybe not. Did that not rip all up? No. Jesus Christ. All right, I got it. This is, this is, listen, strap in. Strap in for like a 55 minute beer melon box. All right, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, try to get all of these out. You can just fast forward, just fast forward. Just fast forward. You know what? I might jump cut. I might jump cut just to save everyone time, but maybe not, because people like watching. You know what? I, I don't jump cut on my, on my channel really ever. So if you just want to get right to the unboxing, I'd say fast forward a good like, 10 minutes at least. I'm trying to be safe because I don't want to cut the cans because obviously you cut the cans and shit happens, right? We don't want spewage everywhere. Can I get in from this side maybe? That's a 10. And that was much easier to do it that way. I've watched some of... Uh, Matt's on boxes, and, and, and I knew, like, what to expect, but this is even more so than I expected. I just, you know, you, you just don't realize how difficult this can be to get into these these beers when you, know, you see them, you're like, oh, yeah, these are cocoons of, you know, it should be easy. Should it? Yeah, it should. Will it? Probably not, no. So, I'd imagine, like, right now Cameron's watching this with a big-ass smile on his face, just chuckling, going, like, that's what I'm talking about. I... And I can relate. When I first started uh, sending out beer mails, I, you know, back then, talking, first beer mail I sent out was like 12 years ago, like 2012. And mostly everything was in bottles back then. You had some cans randomly, but it was mostly bottles. So, you know, bottles can, can crack very easily. Cans, not as much, but I will never fault a single individual for packing beer mails like this. 
you want, I mean, you spend your hard earned money on a lot of these beers and then shipping. And then, then what? Then you fire one off and all of a sudden, you know, one leaks and they send it back or, you know, it ruins the rest of the beer mail. Like, nah, you don't want that to happen. At the same time, you get to see someone like myself who does nerdy shit like review beers on YouTube have a ball, absolute ball. I'm actually having a good time. I just, I'm so excited about the beers in here that uh, I just want to kind of get to them. Oh, he sent me a beer that, uh, <laughs> I was like, wait, does that, yeah, he sent me a beer that uh, Hop Pusher sent my way. Um, so I guess I'll have, I guess, three of those beers. I'll have to spread the love. I, th I think it's the same beer. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but I'm pretty, pretty sure based on that label because I just unboxed their stuff yesterday, so it's kind of fresh in the mind. Now, this is going to be hard to open, right? Try to get in by the bottom here. Yeah, I'm going to try... Ah, fuck it. I'll rip it to the side here. I just, it's a bottle. I don't want to fuck it up at all. As I just explained to you, you know, about, you know, bottles cracking and whatnot. I see bourbon barrels. It says bourbon barrels on the side, so... All right. You know, I'm going to leave this over here because I wanted to... It said burn barrels. It might be like a special release or something. All right. So now we got through the first layer of everything. Let's get these out. Of, I'm going to reuse these. So I'm going to actually throw these on the ground over here because you never have too many Ziploc bags. You know what I mean? And I mean, this is a way, great, a great way to contain any kind of potential leakages or spillages. All right. But I'm just going to reuse this as a, like filler in my, uh, I'm just going to take them all out and then we'll go over them and we'll actually go over the notes because whenever somebody goes to, you know, to the effort of like sending notes and whatnot, I always try to read them, always try to make sure that, you know, that doesn't go unused because I'm sure it has some good info. I'll probably, a lot of these that won't have like can on dates, I'll go, I don't know how can, uh, how old it is. And Cameron's like, read the note, read the note. It says, read the note. All right. Almost done. Like I said, I'm curious to see how long this is going to be in terms of uh, length. What I just said will be one of the dumbest things I've ever said on video. How long it is in terms of length. I'm just, just after that, if you're not fast forwarding to another channel, then I don't know what you're doing. All right, so we got all eight of them. I'm gonna leave the bottle for last, and we're gonna open up this note and see. And and whatever um, put this over here, whatever is the first beer, I'll try to find it. We'll go over it. Okay. It says, hey Joe. I hope all is well. Well, now it is, Cameron, because I got all the beers open. He says, here's the box of goodies I mentioned I'd be sending your way. In this box contains nine beers, so as you can see, eight cans and the bottle, uh, from some of my favorite breweries with a decent variety of styles. Down below, I will have the info of each beer for you when you're finished with the unboxing. Cheers. Well, <laughs> my valve is twitching, so yeah, no, I'm done with it. It says, cheers, Cameron. Cheers. Thank you very much, Cameron, for this. This, this is cool. All right, so the first one is Citronado from 608 Brewing. All right, so let's see. Citronado. Here we go. So 7.2% alcohol by volume. India Palel. Our house IPA, 100% citra hops. You're welcome. Just slow down there, 608. It says, tasting experience. It has hops, citrus, and fruit, and then shows, like, you know, how much they are. So a lot of hops, a lot of citrus, a lot of fruit. They're La Crosse, uh, Wisconsin. I know some brewery from La Crosse that... I'm sure this place is much better. Keep cold, drink fresh. It does not have a date. Um, but yeah, cool label. Now on the uh, on the uh, note, he says $19 per four pack. Don't know the exact packaging date, but it's in there. It, but it's their house IPA, so I'd say it's under two months old. Okay, so he's saying it's under two months old in his estimation. Awesome. Throw that over here. So cool. 100% citra hopped uh, IPA, 7.2%. Hopefully it's delicious. Next, we have the 608 Premium Lager. Here we go. Oh, this just looks like an old school classic label. Um, label. It says 6 eighths. Nice. It says Premium Hellas Lager Beer. The sensible choice for the sensitive palate. 5% alcohol by volume. Um, keep cold, drink fresh. No canned on date. 
And he says, same deal with the Citronado. It's like their house lager, $12 a four pack, great price point. So yeah, both of these are from uh, 608 and that's pretty cool. Maybe maybe I'll do like a uh, review these in the same. I did it a couple times on my channel where I did like a feature where I just take two beers from a brewery. It doesn't have to be the same style, or whatever, and just kind of talk about the brewery and kind of this one would be a good way to introduce myself to 608 and review them in the same uh, you know video and just see what I think about them. I think that's I think I might do that. We'll see. Unless Cameron, you want to see something else specifically. Um, next we have. Uh, Rice, a Japanese-style dry lager. This is from Roaring Table. I've heard of Roaring Table. 5.1%. Um, hops, Saz, and Motueka. And this was canned on 229.24, so under a month old. Visit our tap room. He says uh, $11 for four, per four-pack and then gave me the canned on date. Yep. That's cool. I love I love some Japanese um, rice beers in general, lagers, of course. Um, I've had some... Uh, American breweries have done, like, rice IPAs as well that I've enjoyed. So that sounds like a really fun one for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked on that one. Next, um, from Bar and Grill, this is, is this the, yeah, it's from Bar and Grill, from Roaring Table. This is Bar and Grill, a California style double IPA, 7.9%, uh, hop, citra, strata, nectaron, and this one, same thing, 229. He said $18 for, uh, per four pack for this Bar and Grill. That's pretty sweet. I like that. That's cool. So I'm going to put these all to this side because then I got room for the bottle. Next, we have from um, Adventurous Brewing, right here, Adventurous Warrior. It's a double IPA. By the way, Roaring Table, pretty sure they're somewhere out of Illinois. Yeah, Lake Zurich. So that's where, isn't that, was that where Hot Butcher used to can? I think so. Yeah, that's why I heard of um, Roaring Table. So Adventurous Brewing, they are out of... Bettendorf, Iowa. <laughs> that's a that's a real place, Bettendorf, Iowa. Yeah, Adventures Brewing. So this is a double IPA featuring Warrior. Why yes? Come out and play. Okay. Galaxy and Mosaic Hops. Nine percent alcohol by volume. Seventeen dollars a four pack and canned on two seven. I like that label a lot. Oh, it actually says. Oh, so I don't know how it's gonna come off on camera, but it does say on the actual can, can two seven twenty four. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's it's spiffy. Bettendorf, Iowa. Huh? Big beers, bold flavor store, cold drink fresh. So, yeah, I really like the label. I love the color scheme. I love black and green. Like, I just love it. It's fantastic. So, throw this over here like that. Next, on the back, he has a sack lunch from, a, from Dimensional Brewing. So, this is a sour ale with Concord grape and peanut butter. $22 a four-pack, and this one was canned on 110. He says 110.24. So, they are out of... Um, they're out of Iowa as well. And uh yeah, I, I really like I really like this label. It's really nice. Yeah, Concord Great and Peanut Butter. I've had one other or maybe a couple that have been very similar. But yeah, that's cool. Um I've been drinking a lot of sour ales lately, so that will probably hit the spot. Next, we have from Hot Butcher Sliders. Now, I'm gonna post this unboxing a couple days after I unbox the um the uh, beer mail that Hot Butcher sent my way, and they included this. So this is a uh, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Nelson Salvan Hopped American Pale Ale, 6%. And he he actually has the canned on date where Hot Butcher did not because no canned on date. And I talk about that in the unboxing. But this was canned on a, a 311, so this is like uh, two and a half weeks old. Um, so this is the third can I have of it, so I'm going to share the low with some friends for sure. Cool. And then last but not least of the cans, we have Henna Banana Spit... Uh, Hen is it Henna? Yeah, Henna Banana Split from Moore Brewing. I've had, was it one or two beers from Moore? They're out of Illinois. Yep, Villa Park. Um, no, Huntley, Illinois, and Villa Park, Illinois, too. So they have, they have like two different locations. This is a strawberry, banana, vanilla, and chocolate imperial stout, 14% alcohol by volume. $22 a four pack. Uh, by the way, the sliders is $13 a four pack. Usually when I do the reviews of uh, Hot Butcher stuff, I always ask people to, you know, if they can give me the uh, information on the price point. Some people do. But that's crazy. $12.99, I think it is, for a four pack of, you know, uh, American Pale Ale that has, that's Hot Butcher quality. Like, it's pretty wild. Actually, I'm going to throw this over here just so we have cool colors on camera. And then last but not least, I see it's a, a Central Waters beer. So the... Uh, this is a Central Waters beer, it's, and I don't think I've ever had Central Waters beer in a big bomber like this. Of course, it's sticking, so. So, 
So this is Central Waters. On, on the label says 26. He says it's their 26th anniversary. This is a malt beverage, believe it or not, aged in oak bourbon barrels. It is apparently alcohol-free, according to the label. Alcohol-free. So this might be the best alcohol-free beer I have now. It's, uh, he says it's uh, $15 a bottle. This was bottled in January 2024 and aged for two years in bourbon barrels. Okay. So aged for two There's got to be some alcohol, right, from the barrels. <laughs> this is probably like a huge beer, honestly. This is probably crazy. But yeah, Central Waters, their 26th anniversary. I drink a lot of bombers, but this is really cool. We see Central Water stuff here, but no, nothing like that. So that is the star of the show. Yeah, I think it might be. So awesome, awesome note. And actually, I'm going to keep this note for when I review the beer. So, you know, I, I go at the end, I go, I don't know what the price point availability is. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, he wrote it down. So huge thanks to Cameron for this. This is cool. Um, I've never had anything from 608. Uh, I've never had anything from Roaring Table. Adventurous, nothing. And uh, nothing from, uh, who's this again? Um Forget the brewery. Yeah, Dimensional. Never had anything from them. Obviously, I've had Hot Butcher. I've had more. I've had Central Waters. But uh, I've never these these two are going to be like when I'm feeling feeling kind of you know spry and just yeah I can drink a 14% beer today. But anyway, uh, huge thanks to uh, Cameron for all of these beers. I apologize for the longer unboxing. I warned you going in. I warned myself and I still wasn't prepared. I don't think it's going to be as long as I think. I, I, I thought like this would be like a 20, 25, 30 minute unboxing. It's probably in that 15 to 20 minute realm, which I'm cool with. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get into the reviews. I have a lot of beer. Obviously, Hot Butcher sent me a beer mail. Gregory sent me a beer mail. I got other beers that I have um, on hand. I'm going to try to get to these two specifically first along with this. These are the like the oldest of the bunch. And then we'll, we'll try to sprinkle in the rest. I'm going to keep them cold, obviously, so they should be fine. And yeah, again, huge thanks to Cameron for all of these beers. I can't wait to tear into all of them. Be on the lookout for reviews over the next month or two and uh, until the next one. Oh yeah, if you had any of these beers or have had any beers from any of these breweries, post in the comment section. I'd love to hear. Have you had 608? Uh, clearly it's one of Cameron's favorite um, breweries. Uh, same thing with Roaring Table. I know a lot of you guys are in Chicago. If you had anything from them, um, I know you've had some stuff from Moore and Hot Butcher and Central Waters and whatnot, but uh, I always love trying beers from breweries I've never E, a, either uh, haven't heard of or B, heard of but never had a chance to try anything from. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks again, camera. Thanks, everybody. To the next one. Cheers.